Good day, my wonderful people. It's me again, Countryman. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Well, today I want to talk about one of Jamaica's most notorious killer. And his name is Ricardo Thomas. Now, who is Ricardo Thomas? Ricardo Thomas is otherwise called Bully. And he used to run La Rousse over there in Back Road in Port Tennyson. And he's from Catburn Penn. He's from the bottom of Woodpeck Avenue. Now, I hear they talk about Baldi and, but here, this was a guy who didn't even talk. And he started one of the bloodiest war Jamaica has ever seen. Whether you come from Moby, because let me tell you, because of him, a lot of the Moby of them man them linking a cat burnt in. As you can see with Tommy Lee Sparta. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, when Bully was killed, there was four people killed, including him and his brother and this was over there by his business place you know they said uh it was like 49 rounds of ammunition so that that kind of well what made this case so interesting Remember, he was caught with a gun and ammunition and everybody in Jamaica thought he was going away. But this guy had a lot of money. He was given a $1 million fine and that was history in Jamaica at the time and a three-year probation. Now, they said this man right here is responsible for about 70 murders the paper says 60 but really and truly between him and his one-time friend his one-time friend Waldi his one-time friend Waldi now these guys start one of the most vicious war remember now they were friends they grew up practically on the same street you have uh, Woodpecker Avenue, Flint's Crescent, Canary. And uh, they made money in England. They came out to Jamaica and start one of the bloodiest war Jamaica has ever seen. Now, they said that Waldi was the man who took him out. But what was crazy about it, Wally beat that case and got killed the same day after he left court, which everybody knows that in 2017, and Bully was killed in 2009. But this guy right here, when it comes to gunman killer, this guy here don't talk and he's very very sorry he was very very dangerous now from what I was told this war started over Waldi brother, Waldi have a brother who 
these junky junky and keep on beating up the young ladies them in the neighborhood. So the man bullied her to all day about it and the man them him still do it so the man them beat him and when them beat Waldi brother Waldi called bully and threaten him and that lead to they killing each other family father friends associate non associate I even personally know people who got caught up in that bloody war and I still can't wrap my head around it and you know it's sad to say it's not getting any easier down there in Cockburn Pen because you see they kill Rifle they kill this one here bully they kill Waldi they kill Bitty amongst other a lot of, there's a conspiracy theory going on saying that the Jamaica government got rid of Waldi because he was going on too bad and they said government call him in and then tell the government them for us out their mother then the rumor fly that says that Waldi was the one who killed this dude right here bully and that's why he got arrested and went on trial and then when he came out they killed him then you see the rifle incident and the Tommy Lee spot are gone is attached to that so that kind of show you that Montego beer and Cockburn pen link up the two most dangerous place in Jamaica link up I don't know how the mother solved that but I just wanted to talk about this man right here my people the most one of the most if not the most dangerous man that ever came out of Jamaica Ricardo Thomas aka Bully aka Indian remember to like share and subscribe and I'll keep the fire burning peace out this is countryman